Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going over what is in my daughter's travel bag. This is not her diaper bag. I did do a what's in my diaper bag video, and if you haven't seen that, I'll link that below because it has a whole bunch of other necessities that I would put in here if I didn't have them in my diaper bag. So let's get into what's in here. Well, first, let me say we're only gonna be traveling for a day and a half. We have uh, two main events that we're going to. And as a first time mom, I feel like it's really common, or maybe it's just me. I overpack every single time Nora and I travel anywhere. And even in my diaper bag, when we're just running errands, I tend to overpack. But the reason is because I'd rather be prepared than not prepared, because I hate being in the scenario where I have forgotten something and Nora suffers or suffers. Like maybe she won't be fully suffering, but it makes me sad when we don't have everything that she could need or want. Another thing that I wanted to say was that this is actually a diaper bag that I use strictly for Nora's traveling. This was my first diaper bag and I really love it. It was actually on my like wish list or my registry for when I had my baby shower and my in-laws got it for me, which I completely love it, but I like the backpack diaper bag better. So that's why I use this one for traveling. It's still amazing. It has tons of space and pockets and I'll show you guys more about it as we go through the video. In these front two pockets, I have just a few things. In this one right here, I have her after bath comb or a little brush. We got this from the hospital. Then I have a little washcloth that we'll use during her bath. That's all that's in that pocket. In this front pocket right here, I have one of her favorite teethers. It's just a finger puppet, but it also doubles as a bath toy. And then we also have this solar night light. I plug this into whatever room she's sleeping in. We're gonna be staying at my parents' house. And just in case the room's really dark and I need to go in there in the middle of the night, I will have this ready to go. But we'll see. I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna use it. In this side pocket right here, it has a pull tie if I wanna tighten it, but it's stuffed so it's not tightened. This is her bath towel. I'm not gonna unfold it all the way. It's a little lamb. It's one of those hooded towels. Uh, my mom has towels for us to use and I'll probably use one of those as well but I always like to bring something that Nora's familiar with to keep when that way when we're traveling I will keep it as homey as possible that way she's as comfortable as possible. In this side pocket right here I have her bath shampoo and wash by Aveeno and then I have the matching lotion. I like, well I love both of these but for the lotion I prefer the vanilla and lavender calming lotion instead but this is easier to travel with so I just bring this one when we travel more so. Okay there is a zip pack pocket back here but I don't have anything in it at the moment. Let's get into the main piece. On top, I just have her stuffed narwhal. This is her favorite stuffed animal at the moment, which is I think is so cute. And if you guys didn't see her um, Nora Turning One video, the birthday theme was pink and gold narwhal. Okay. <laughs> Next, I have on top here a burp cloth. I don't really need burp cloths anymore because Nora doesn't really spit up, but she's not a newborn baby. She is one. She's actually 13 months if we're gonna get specific here. So I bring these mainly just for like emergency spills or if I just need to clean something up really fast, I'll have one of these handy. Um, let me show you guys what it looks like on the inside of the bag. So this is kind of what it looks like from a top overview. Right here I have a whole bunch of her diapers fully stocked and I have a whole bunch of diapers stocked in the diaper bag as well. And then next to it I have um, in the other fold a packet of full wipes ready to go. I will also be bringing in my car, I usually leave one of these in my car of diapers. We currently use the Pampers brand and she is size four at the moment, but she's about to um, change to size five. Next we have some outfits. This outfit I'm actually not gonna leave in here. I forgot to take it out. But this is the outfit she's gonna be wearing tomorrow. We're going to an ASU graduation, so I wanted her to either wear maroon or like a goldy yellow. Um, I don't have a maroon for her, so she's gonna be wearing this yellow goldy shirt. Just super cute. It's the Cat and Jack brand from Target. And then um, she's gonna have these little shorts to go with. Honestly, I need to wash these before, so I'll have to wash these tonight. And I can't decide whether to do this knotted bow or this sparkly bow. They're both black. I don't know, I'm gonna have to make that decision later. So that's what we have here. Um, next, we have two outfits. I don't know which outfit I'm going to pick for her to wear on Friday, but on Friday we're going to be going to the zoo. It'll be Nora's first time to the zoo. 
And so I have two options of outfits to wear. The first one is this shirt. This top is from Old Navy and it was on sale when I bought it for a couple bucks. It has little fireflies, not fireflies, dragonflies on it. Isn't this cute? And then I have these little pink shorts to match. And I can't decide again between bows. I have this teal one. And then I have this white one. I don't know. I'm probably going to go with the teal one. Nora doesn't even keep bows in her hair very long, but I love to start off um, her day with bows. That way I can snap a cute picture of her. And then my other outfit, which I'm not sure either. Like I might, she might be wearing that teal dragonfly one or she could wear this. This is also Cat and Jack. No, this is Cloud Island, but it's also from Target. And here's the onesie. And then I have some tan khaki shorts to wear with it. Aren't these so cute? And then this one, I only have one bow option. This little pink bow. So cute. So yeah, whatever one of these two outfits that she doesn't wear to the zoo will be like an emergency backup outfit on top of the other outfit I have in my diaper bag, which is a backup outfit as well. So we're prepared on outfits. At the bottom of the diaper bag here, I have two sets of pajamas. The first one is a footy pajama zip up. I love these pajamas honestly the most, but since we live somewhere where it's so hot, I like, I'm trying to find more summer pajamas. The only reason I'm bringing this one and another set, here's the second one. It doesn't have footies at the bottom, so I have socks just in case, but maybe I won't need these socks. But anyways, the reason I'm bringing two sets of pajamas is because sometimes my parents' house is really cold because my dad likes to have the house cold. I like sleeping in the cold too, so I'm just going to be prepared for Nora either way. Then um, I also have her shoes. They are kind of dirty. Actually, these ones, these little pink sandals are dirty, um, but I did wash these other ones. She'll probably be wearing these white ones most of the time because they match most of her outfits, but just in case I feel like putting the pink ones on, I'm bringing both. Honestly, these are like her only shoes. I have a pair of moccasins for her with soft bottoms, but like she gets them off so easy. So I don't like to put those on her because I know they're just gonna fly off two seconds later. The next thing I have in here are some blocks. She is getting really into blocks lately. I think it's so cute. Um, it used to be whenever I would stack them up like this, she would have more fun knocking them over. But lately she's been stacking them up like by herself and then clapping. It's so funny and cute. I just looked over at her one day while I was unloading the dishwasher and she was just like, yay, and starts clapping by herself. She's really good at independent play. Okay, so yeah, I'm bringing these. And then I also have her nighttime book. This is her favorite book at the moment. It used to be a Sleepy Heads book, but this one is called Little Owl's Night. I cannot pronounce the author's name, but you can see it. It says it was $6.99 and I'm pretty sure I got this at Walmart. This book is really cute if you're looking for a new nighttime book. The other thing I have in this back pocket is, this is a tablet and on this tablet, we can um, set up Netflix for her in the car or I can set up little games for her as well. They're like little baby games. I would show you, but I don't have a lot of time because she's gonna wake up any second from her nap. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely gonna have this um, either in the car if she gets upset or at the ASU graduation if she needs something to do or play with, I'm gonna have this on hand as well. All right, that is everything that was in Nora's one and a half day traveling bag. I know it's a lot, but like I said, I'd rather be over-prepared than under-prepared. Um, there are some things in the, that are not in this diaper bag, like diaper cream and um, Tylenol for the fact that she's teething right now, just in case we need it for an emergency. Um, but those are already in my diaper bag. So if you haven't seen the what's in my diaper bag video, I will link it in the description box below. Other than that, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye.